Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good evening to you. I do have an update on our potential hurricane that's coming through the Caribbean. As a matter of fact, it's showing a lot more strength. Uh, let me play this for you so you can see it. You'll start seeing they're running 28th and 29th. A lot of low pressures coming through the system, uh, through the Leeward Islands by Venezuela. And you'll notice that this one system in the front, it gets very powerful. It gets all the way down to a 938. Uh, it makes a sharp turn to the north towards Jamaica. It gets really powerful to 938, goes to 944 over Jamaica so far. And then it uh, stops over Cuba. And that's the last shot that we have of this storm. But I will keep you updated on all the information that we do get from this storm. Uh, let me break it down for you and show you exactly what is going on as far as the, the possible potential for what could happen with this. Now, if you, I know it's uh, 10 days away, it's 9 days away, and people are about a, a funny long forecast. It's not super long. Okay, We're just talking about just 8 and a half to 9 days away. We will see these uh, low pressures of tropical waves come across into the Caribbean. Now, every 6 hours, I'm going to show you the movement of this uh, storm and then I'll go 12 hours right there there's 12 hours now you're gonna see 12 hours at a time and you're gonna see the intensity grow and this, this is consistent with the last two days I've been following this model now uh, the, the GFS parallel showed it even uh, more uh, strengthening but I, I didn't want to put that worrisome this morning until it showed another trend as well now if we get to the six it makes a northern turn uh, I, I got to do more investigation to see what, why it's doing a northern turn. But it turns north and it heads towards Jamaica. And on the 7th, which is a Saturday, it shows it's a 938. Y'all, that, that is literally almost a cat for a hurricane. So it is definitely strengthening as these models uh, update more and more. Then we have it as a 956 headed uh, past Jamaica, headed over Cuba. And this is on the 7th. Now, if you follow the GFS model towards right over Venezuela, you can see where these low pressures start sneaking in. And this is the pressure I've been following for a few days, and it does make it past the uh, it does make it past the wind shear. And you can see these low pressure low pressures all start filing on in. And this one in the front is the one that gives us the first problem. But if you notice as it goes by, there's other low pressures that's trying to make it in as well. There's pretty much a whole train of them when we get towards the end of this month so that is going to be an issue now also while we're having this potential hurricane over here in the pacific they also have another potential major hurricane that's going to go into the west coast of mexico it forms up because all these little pressures are just training along the, and that but it, it forms up and it does a sharp curve to the east towards mexico and this is around the same time that we see ours going over jamaica so it's pretty much looking like it's going to be a potential for two at the same time we're going to have a major hurricane potential in the caribbean also a major 960 right there going into mexico so we got to watch out for that for mexico as well now there's no latest update for five o'clock for this disturbance it's still showing 30 percent that's because it is a lot of disorganized storms guys there's not a lot going on it's just gonna be a lot of raining a lot of storm and vent now as this this updates with more information I will bring you the, the updates so you'll know everything that's going on with this storm, whether the trends follow, whether it strengthens even more, because Cat 4 is already bad enough. But I would definitely like to say, between everybody that's in the hardship of this storm, if it does produce and it does make this path, it is not going to be a, a good thing. It's going to hurt a lot of people. It's going to cause a lot of pain. So God bless you if you are in this path. I pray that everybody will be okay from this. Psalms 146. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth. He returneth in his, into his earth, and that very day his thoughts perish. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob, for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth, the sea, and, and all that there is, which keepeth truth forever, 
which ex executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and widow. But the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. God bless you all this evening. I hope you all have a great evening. This storm, if, if it pans out, it does look like it is strengthening. So I'll stay on top of it and see what the trends are of it. Let's not worry about it yet. It's still nine days away. God bless you all. All glory does go to God. Amen. <laughs>